Curiosity. Interesting little plant. It's a fern. Nice looking plant, hideous looking pot. Here's what you can do about it. Makes a nice present for somebody. You start by going to your local woodyard, and there, if you're lucky, you can pick up some hollow logs. Some people look for them to make uh, budgie nesting boxes, and that's really not a bad one. It's fairly narrow, though. This is probably more the sort of thing you want, really with a hole big enough to put your arm through. You can see quite a decent substantial hole there. Well, you may have to knock out the innards first. This one does have a hole, but it's all choked up with rotten wood. You'll need to get a stick and poke it all through and get rid of all the rubbish. Once you've done that, it actually looks rather like a wooden tube. And when you've selected the, uh, the part that you like best, I think it's that side, you can clean it up a little if you want to by using a rasp or a file or anything you like and uh, just dress it up the way you want it. Some people just like to leave them like that. You can see one over here that's really been given quite a good treatment. It's been cleaned off, cut neatly and even varnished. And that really makes a rather lovely looking log. What do you do next? Well, you can't just put the plant into that. It is going to be a planter, but you have to stop everything falling out through the bottom. So turn it up the other way, and that's the underneath. Now, if you could get stainless steel mesh, that'd be terrific. It's hard to get, so use old fly wire, the metal kind. Bronze is best, but aluminium will do in a pinch. I'm going to put not one layer there, but two, and I've just cut that out with old scissors. That's really going to be pretty tough, and uh, it'll let everything... Uh, or everything but the water will be retained by it. OK, one nail there. These are galvanised nails and they won't rust. Hammer one in there, one on the other side. Avoid wrinkling it because you don't want it to rock around when it's standing up. And put in not two or four, but probably about 20 all the way around. If I go back to this little pot here, you'll see if I turn that over, that has got stainless steel wire and it's got about 20 nails. Well, that's really the finished flower pot. But you couldn't put dirt straight into that. It would tend to go down to the bottom. The best thing to do is to do what you do with a flower pot and put in some gravel. Here we go, tip it in there. And that really holds everything up a bit, but allows the water to drain through and finally through the mesh. The next thing you have to do is to pot the plant. And again, with a bit of potting saw, everything's very easy. I've prepared this, take the fern out, slide it in there and press it down. Take a bit more care than that but that really is the finished article, and it makes quite a decent present for somebody who's keen on having a natural-looking fern garden. Give it a go.